Hi guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today I have another speed build for you and this is a karaoke bar. Um, karaoke bars were introduced in City Living so they're kind of new. Um, I, I don't know if I've seen anyone do a karaoke bar actually. I think because, I don't know, there's, there's so many community lots now it's kind of, I don't know, like there's not really a huge amount of difference between just like your regular bars and karaoke bar but I don't know I just fancy doing it uh one of my sims is kind of in the entertainment career so she is like living it up in here uh well I put her in for the screenshots anyway um but yeah so it's a karaoke bar um it's on the plot that's called Stargaze stargazer lounge oh my god i have so much issues saying that stargazer lounge um yeah no it's it's i kept the name stargazer lounge because i really like the name and i was just like do you know what i can't think of a better name so we've kept it a stargazer lounge plus you know it's got a really awesome view i did put a screenshot in like just before like my ending card or whatever um and it's of like the view at night from the top of this well from this plot and oh my god it is so gorgeous um it, it kind of makes me a little bit sad <laughs> because um we've got all these like if you like well you're seeing the screenshot like right at the end if you don't want to watch then just please just like look at that screenshot it's like literally like four or like five or six seconds before the end of the video such a good screenshot and like oh my god it makes me sad because like we don't have that world in the game really like to be fair i mean i'm not complaining about city living there's a lot of people that you know like to be very vocal about their opinions and that's fine I don't really mind but um for me like i i i spend like so much time on sims like i don't want to complain about it because if i complain about it then it becomes like a negative thing and it's just like this whole thing so basically what i'm trying to say is i wish that the city living like world was a bit bigger um because i mean it is big but it's it's kind of just like the same thing four times over right like it's not like none of the places are that much different they've all got like a marketplace and everything but i don't know um also another thing like i don't know if i'm just being like really thick i don't know and i don't understand how you're supposed to go to the convention um yeah i'm kind of confused about that like do you do you even go with your sims to the convention i've not seen it like advertised or anything so help <laughs> if you if you know how to get to the convention please tell me i really want to go i want to check it out i want to make my sims cosplay oh my god it'll be a whole thing anyway so oh my god it was my birthday this week um not this week last week what week is it yeah no last week it was my birthday and um i spoke about this in my last video actually it's it's been over a week <laughs> since my birthday um but yeah um my friends came around um this weekend they came around saturday to monday and it was so good to see them um because i live uh in belgium i'm from england but i live in belgium and like all of my friends are, are still in england so i um i don't get to see them as much as i would like to obviously because you know we can't just always spend our time like traveling back and forth because it's kind of expensive like it's very easy to get um to belgium from england like there's literally a euro star and then you just like go on that and it's yeah it's just like really easy and quick but it can be you know pretty expensive like it's it's annoying because there are they've got different prices on the Eurostar so if you go like I don't know like midday it tends to be or kind of late morning early afternoon it tends to be cheapest so um it, it can be like like 40 quid um each way but if you go like any other time it can be anywhere up to like a hundred and you know like 80 quid or something each way it's so much money but um yeah if you plan it right it can be a lot cheaper plus um me and one of my friends who came over this week actually um we were we've both had problems where we've been like oh no we need to change our time and they'd like charge you so much money um there was one time i <laughs> i booked the eurostar and i paid for it and everything and then i realized that i got i put in the wrong date and i was just like oh bollocks so i had to like rebook it um 
and like you, you don't have to like completely redo the whole thing but because you can just change the date that or the time or whatever but like this i literally realized like maybe like five or so minutes like i was looking at the booking that i just made and i realized that i'd effed it up so i was just like oh. so i had to change it like at that moment like literally five minutes after i'd just booked you know the the damn thing and um yeah it <laughs> it cost me like 25 quid to change it like five minutes after i booked and it was just like really though like really though <laughs> it was kind of a pain like i get it because you know they just want to squeeze every damn penny out of you but it's just like really though but like really though must you do that i don't know it just like it doesn't surprise me but i was just like okay <laughs> okay then okay that's fine don't worry about me um yeah so eurostar it's great but it's they they i mean it's the same with anything these days like anything is literally just like trying to squeeze as much money out of you as possible and it really irritates me yeah anyway let's not go on a rant about that ho 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 um so yeah um what did we do this weekend we went to uh bruges and which and which which and which and but, but, ah, did you like that <laughs> um Bruges is like half an hour 45 minutes away from me in the car so it's very nice um I I love Bruges Bruges is like my favorite place in Belgium um and yeah I think uh, yeah then we went to Ghent on Sunday um but it's it, it was kind of difficult because in Belgium on Sundays like nothing is really open like there'll be some restaurants and stuff but really like not a lot is open so there wasn't really any shops open or anything but it was just nice for them to see kind of where I live um Ghent is kind of the closest to me um like literally like five or six minutes on the train so it's very quick to get to Ghent it's my kind of like local town or city I guess and yeah so I took them there and um yeah it was just a really nice weekend i really um enjoyed hanging out with them i feel like i've not seen them for ages and um yeah i'm just i'm very happy i had a really really nice time and yes so oh my goodness i had so much fun making this i kind of when i was building i've kind of i've not really been in a rut with building but i've just kind of been like i don't know what i want to do like i've kind of just been I don't know like I, I can't even think like I just it's like I just don't know what to build like nothing is interesting me a huge amount at the minute with sims building so I've kind of just been like stuck being like I don't know what to do so um I really just like did this in like a I did it all at once I normally what I do when I'm building for a video I like I'll do like a couple of hours and I'll stop and then I'll like start it again like the next day or something or later on in the day but this one I just like powered right through I was listening to um the source Fed podcast um and I love that podcast um I spoke about podcasts last week so I'm not gonna like ramble on about those again but yeah it was just nice like listening to them and um one of the guys on SourceFed has like this amazing work ethic and it really inspires me like um it's funny because this is kind of not on the same topic or anything but like i follow this instagram because i spoke about it last week but i've like been like exercising more and stuff um and i follow this instagram i cannot for the life of me remember what it's called it's called like ebx something um basically what it is it's this personal trainer and he um I don't know he posts like videos and photos and everything like pretty much every day of um people working out and like it's so easy to find workout videos and like stuff and like workout instagrams of all these like people that look like perfect and everything um but this personal trainer um he does mainly a lot of work with people who are like pretty overweight and i find it so inspiring because every day i get these like videos of these people who aren't like super fitness like bodybuilders like toned everything being like oh yeah look at me work out you know it's not like that it's like just like normal people working out and just like i don't know it's just, i just find it so much more inspiring and i find i i look at those videos and i think 
cool yeah hell yeah you do that like i find i'm just like that is just so cool like i i don't know i i just find it so much i find that so much more inspiring than like literally any other workout video or anything because i don't know it's so easy to like look at these people who are like fitness models for example and they're like they're, those tend to be the people that are like the poster children of you know like these workouts and these you know these gyms and everything and it's so easy to look at that and be like i'm never gonna be that so there's no point in trying whereas if you have people who you know who look like you or just are not normal literally just like normal people who aren't just like in their like nikes and they're like i don't know workout top and everything just like oh look how much you know look how great i am and i don't actually have a problem with people doing that i'm not trying to say that people should stop doing that i think if you're feeling yourself then go for it like you do that like i encourage i want to encourage people to be like yeah i love my body and like all of that but like for me like i find it so much more inspiring and to just i don't know just more achievable to have someone who's just like a normal person and they just happen to kill it in a workout like most days and i just think that's so i just love that so much um i just i don't know anyway <laughs> i don't want to talk about that anymore but yeah like i just i just find that so much more inspiring and like i don't work out like hardcore like every day or anything um i just i do it like when i feel like it and that happens to be like three times a week um and you know they're not like mega long workouts i just like doing the like short ones you know like it's, i think it's called like hits and it's like high intensity interval training or something like that um it's just like that stuff i find that so much more enjoyable and because i really like to feel like i'm dying after a workout like it doesn't feel great but you feel like you've done it and like even like today i literally was working out <laughs> i probably would normally do a little bit more but like today i really just didn't feel like doing it but i hadn't worked out since like friday and it's thursday today so i was just like okay i need to like you know like i need to get into it again and i literally worked out for maybe like five or ten minutes and like but 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 by the end of it i was just like cool yeah i feel like i achieved something i did like in my workout because i am still very low like fitness and i was i did like 10 burpees and i feel like my legs are about to fall off <laughs> if you don't know what burpees are it's basically like you stand up and then you you like kind of like i don't want to say drop to the floor but you go on the floor and you like kick your legs out i can't really describe it if you just like google like burpees and then you just like walk back up again I did that 10 times and I was just like, good lord. <laughs> I, um, because I always heard that, I always heard like people saying like how horrific burpees are and how much they hate them. So I kind of always just like avoided them. <laughs> um, and yeah, I tried them today and uh, like, I, it was just like, it was, yeah, it was something. Um, but yeah, like I, um, I don't know i'm not like a fitness person like i i used to do like a ton of yoga i used to do yoga like every single day and i was like oh i want to be a yoga instructor and all this malarkey and i you know it just didn't work out i ended up hating it because i i'm i'm kind of like an obsessive person where i will be like really into something for like a few months and i'll do it like non-stop and then i kind of will end up hating it because i've like overdone it and it's like it's like when you listen to a song like on repeat for like five like a week or two weeks um and then you end up being like wow i cannot listen to this song anymore i'm like that but with like everything so yeah i i'm trying to like i'm i've really made like a conscious effort to not do that like I don't know like because it's so easy for me to do that and become like completely obsessed with something and then like hate it and not want to do it ever again so i'm really like trying to teach myself like moderation and you know like control self-control it's really weird like i i never i'm 22 now and i've never really been like oh i need to practice self-control like 
and it it kind of seems like really stupid like it's kind of just like oh i need to you know learn how to i don't know not completely indulge every day of the week you know what i mean like just practicing some restraint and i don't know it's like it's changing my life like i'm not saying that i'm like there yet or anything because i certainly am not but i don't know i just i don't know i i think it's good for me to do exercise like maybe like three times a week tops because if i do it f like any more than that i will like go hardcore and i'll like i don't know man i'm just i'm not, i'm just i'm learning okay <laughs> i'm becoming an adult i'm learning moderation and it's all good but my brother's the same um if you go on his channel he is like such he is such the same like where he's just like i must have everything of this one thing like at the minute his thing is like funko pops i'm sure we all know what those are and like he ha he has a lot like i went to i don't know every time i go to his house it's like oh we've got like 75 more <laughs> um so yeah he's he's uh he's got that gene from i don't i guess it's our dad because we have a, the same dad so i mean i suppose it's our dad's fault right right or maybe it's maybe it's not even a genetic it's probably not a genetic thing i think it's probably like um i think it's not that it's, it's not that odd to be fair like i think a lot of people especially when you're growing up you kind of identify with these things i'm not going to go too deep into this but i listen to a podcast so it's like what i've been thinking about um and yeah basically like when you're younger i think you kind of instead of being like oh i know exactly who i am because no one who's, who knows who they are until they're like probably like i don't even know who i am really i'm 25 and people go different paces but i think most people you know probably don't understand like who they are or what they like for you know a, a long time so probably i don't i can't even say an age like it's probably like mid 20s maybe like, like people don't know that so it's easy to like think okay i really like this so i'm gonna just do that for for ages you know what i mean like it's it's just easier to do that rather than being like oh look at me who here, here i am i don't know it's it's better it's easier to identify with things rather than being like oh this is me i'm 100 percent authentic i don't know anyway <laughs> that is just not what i was talking about but i hope you guys like this video <laughs> i hope you like this build um i found it really difficult doing screenshots but yeah stay to the end there is a really nice screenshots coming up in like 10 like 20 seconds maybe so yes thank you guys for watching um subscribe if you like and comment and rate and blah, 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 and all that malarkey and um yeah here it is here it is here it is oh my god look at that okay see you later guys bye 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 bye